Hello YouTube! Welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. This is my Total War Three Kingdoms Sea Shirt Legendary campaign. And when we left off, we'd uh, pretty much continued to do a lot of damage to everyone on all fronts who were at war with. So, done a lot of damage to Wang Lang and Liu Yao. Um, pushing back, well, sort of being kited by uh, Bei Shang Fang and uh, Yuan. Uh, is it called Kingdom of Song? Uh, I can't remember who the faction leader is. Yuan something, and now we have um, Yuan Shu, who has been vassalized by the Kingdom of Song, is now been called to war against us as well, which is really annoying. We also managed to uh, annex a lot of territory off of Han Jin using spies. Um, so yeah, we're in a very good spot. We are also hopefully going to take Shu. Um, and maybe even defeat Lu Bu, which would be great, and if we can capture Lu Bu, that'd be awesome. Obviously Dong Ying is still our spy, but still unable to get civil wars to work, which is super annoying. I might try one next turn. Um, Chi Zhu is our spy in Han Jin's court, who we might see if we can discredit. Ah, let's build our undercover network first. Okay, so we have a, a, a few now to make use of. So we've got a couple of people who are obviously in the Han family, so let's discredit Han Yi. So Han Yi is now on 24, and he's willing to spy for us, so let's bring him into the fold. Uh, so we could. Who is the heir? Uh, Han Chong. Who isn't deployed. Um, but we may be able to just straight up kill Han Jin, which would be really cool. Uh, so let's run interference as well. Although they are for another five turns. So maybe we don't need to. Could also get one in Yuan Shu's faction. Plus six defense. And we'll come back to her. I really want to rearrange Zhang Fei's army. So it looks like there was an army over here, but I can't see them anymore, so maybe they've gone into ambush or they've just moved back off the fog of war. Let's move Sao Pi up to. Shanyin, Wanlang's capital. And yeah, we'll move through Sihan Wan's territory. She actually doesn't like us very much, which is weird. Um... Who's this guy? Okay, so he's actually just got an army, so let's move. He's probably an army we had before we made. Hmm. Yeah, let's head this way actually. Return to standard position. 
Remain honest. My loyalty is as deep as my beard is long. Take out the Yellow Turban Rebellion here. Is unnatural and will always fail. Let them return home. Sun Ren and Jahadun are now oath sworn. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Yeah, let's transfer those so at least everyone likes each other. And then Guan Yu can head back towards where Zhang Fei is. Okay, Kuai Nan's got a assignment going here. So, uh, yeah, let's get rid of some corruption. Or should we? I can never remember. Are we? Sp is it better to just do get more income and worry about corruption later? Potentially is. If we can get to zero, maybe it is worth it. Um, but for now, we will try and reduce corruption, and we'll build the food store. Uh, who's on assignment here? Do you not have Shiriji? No, she does have an industrialist chest, so that's good. Move up. Oh, this is our actual faction leader, faction leader, isn't it? So he's he's got a ton of abilities. He's got the movement range buff, though. He's probably better to be in command, isn't he? We'll do that battle in a sec. Um, With courage. With all your might. Uh, we'll starve these guys out. Let's continue with the siege there until it's low casualties. Oh, and did we just take this? Yeah, we did. Um... Yeah, let's move on Dan Yang here. Actually, no, we'll, we'll meet up with Guan Yu. We'll get the two brothers together. And yeah, let's fight this battle here. Assuming they don't run away. Okay, so we've got a big battle going. Night battles don't change it at all. 
Apparently this is going to be a valiant defeat, which is ridiculous. Despite our superior forces. Yeah, let's just start the battle. Oh, wow, what are those? Oh, are these the um, Liu Chong units? They are, aren't they? It's Liu Chong's banner. Uh, yeah, well, so uh, I think we're just going to deploy everything over here, really. Let's put... Um, let's see if we can get some fire working. But I don't think we need the tower because I'll just get stolen by the enemy. Get the uh, swords moving out as well. Let's give some uh, cavalry from the uh, the other army to Ganning. So the AI is kind of right for us, so let's see what we can do in terms of fire arrows. I think I used to put spears on the flanks, didn't I? Might make more sense, actually. Let's form up. Quickly. Take heed, warriors. 
a weird little new box over here. Right, let's see if we can start a fire. I will cut out your heart. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Pretty annoying how like you shall fall by boxed in they become. Okay, looks like the fire's caught, which is good. Probably send some more spears up this flank. Okay, what? Li Si Hui is coming up. Let's send Ga uh, Gan Ning up along the flank. And uh, Chen Gong Ying can stay where he is. Oh shit, these ones are on fire. Oh, do we not have caltrops? I did not know that. Uh, yeah. Bring in and get some negative melee evasion going. <laughs> His hat's not there. What's going on? Bring Gan Ning back. The enemy general falls. Steal yourselves. Prepare. So we can get mounted up again. Oh wow, don't do that, don't do that.
Yeah, Wang Hong might as well give it a go as well. Right, let's get our cavalry out there. It's getting a bit messy. Bring all the Lancer Cav out. Oh, come on. It's just a unit of crossbows. How are you not winning that? God dang. Can't be much more map left. Oh no, there isn't. Hopefully, get him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look. See who he has no has been shaved. That's really weird. But his portrait doesn't imply that. Approval. 
Lee Khan. Vain, greedy, relentless. Let's just release him. Return them to their kin. Release her. They have suffered enough. Sun Xu doesn't like Lady Yan, who I don't quite know who that is. Uh, what's he got? Stone Pig. We'll release him for the 500 gold. Uh, no, actually, we'll execute. Just get the Stone Pig. Grant them dignity in death. Uh, I could replenish, but that's quite a lot of money. They fought only for their beliefs. Oh, who was I arrogant? Remain honest. <laughs> Wang Hong is now arrogant. Excellent. So we'll be back into our own territory for replenishment. And over here, yeah, not much more we can do there. Oh yeah, we've got armies over here to move. Um, uh, yeah, let's build a blacksmith. And we'll also build currency inspector's office, or we could just keep going down the food route. Let's build the inspector office. Oh, actually, no, we'll upgrade the city as well. Okay, so this is Hepu, which we can now upgrade the spice trading port. Um, do these, does Yulin have corruption? 0% corruption. Chao Z, 0% corruption. Okay. Uh, might not need this then for now. Gao Ling, 0% corruption. Okay, so our administrators are obviously providing a significant bonus to corruption there so um, let's do the winnowing machine workshop for now and we'll do market wharf I really wish they had some like little icon which showed what assignments was being done at each settlement as you go as you tick through them. Okay, Jiang Sha's ranked up a bit. 
Well, it takes three turns. Mamao. Do you actually have an industrialist chest? No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's build one. Also, I don't know why he's got a really good item. Doesn't need it. Cool, now that takes one turn. Excellent. We'll leave Runan for now. What's this place? Luling. Okay, great. Because uh, we've got a place so close by that's doing military, I don't think we need anything here. So if we just go full economy route down this one. Uh, Yu Zhang is also need ranking up. Build a judiciary at Poyang as well. Yeah, I'll upgrade the city here. And we'll convert this to a trading port, which will then upgrade to a spice trading port. Alright, I think we'll end this episode here. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next part.